What is up guys? Welcome to another Behind the Curve Reacts and today we're going to be taking a look at another Kickstarter video. That's right. It seems like just yesterday I reacted to the shipwrecked headless Kickstarter video which was amazing. I am proud to say I helped fund it but now it seems like that just ended and now the Tin Can Brothers have got their own Kickstarter project and I can't wait. Like this is like the first round of Star Kid, Tin Can, Shipwreck, like new projects that I get to be like a part of, that I get to help fund. I am so, so excited. Uh, this is gonna be called, uh, this could be on Broadway. I believe it's a musical, but I kind of purposefully know very little about this. I just, this just popped up on my uh, YouTube feed. I'm like, oh my God, this is incredible. So I'm hoping I get all of that information from this video. Uh, this is, oh man, this is just, this is so cool. This is so new to me. I can't wait. I am so excited. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I will go ahead and link to their Kickstarter project for this down in the comments and I'll probably put a little something in the description as well. So if you feel the need to support this project, which I'm sure will be incredible, you can definitely do that down below. But yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. There are some interesting spreadsheets with you right now. Brian, we gotta nail down these deadlines, bud. Stay sharp. Where's this guy's head at, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Brian is so funny. The butch just picked something already. <laughs> <laughs> I would have picked 10 things I hate about you, but that's just me. <laughs> is this about all the holes? Joey, please. Do you know how hard it is to find a stud? I know, I've forgiven you like seven times. <laughs> well, what do you want me to do? Huh? You want to Venmo you for all the holes? What about the holes? Oh my god. <laughs> it's about high school. That's too real. What? I miss it. Uh, do you know how hard it is to find a stud? <laughs> I'll catch up to you. I just want to check out the old prop closet for a minute. Wow. The theater prop closet looks exactly how I remember it. I wonder. Aww. <laughs> Thinking about them good old days, eh, partner? You betcha, buckaroo. I can't believe it's been so long. <laughs> and I can't believe we defaced school property and never got caught. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> I was expelled for a week. You scamps. <laughs> Get over here, if you're vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> Being a part of the Mountain Valley High Theater Guild with all of you was the greatest honor of my life. Corey, I still remember your astonishing performance in I am Prisoner of the Meek, Subduer of the Lauren, if you'll allow me to <laughs> flatter the flat earther, let's not forget your jaw-dropping turn as a How could oh we? Oh my god. That's why I married her. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't. Oh my gosh, Brian, isn't that the jack you wore as me? The is ill and fading fast, one last the week out, so Oh sure my god, is. that is so if it's cute. Like gloves. <laughs> <laughs> You're too big. <laughs> hey, I'd like to see you try on your costume from the pajama game is the game I'm in and I'm proud to be in the pajama game. I love it. After 25 years, oh Joey. My I'd god. like that too. But that costume was lost in a fire back in the summer of 010. <laughs> it's a shame that Clark can't be here. Because his flight was delayed from O'Hare. I mean, his performance <laughs> in o was fucking fire. <laughs> hey. No way. The green light from The Great Gatsby, The Great Musical. Oh, Jesus. It was the best thing the department <laughs> ever did. 
Brant Bentley gave it five out of five tragedy comedy emojis in the Mountain Valley Gazette. It was the only show I was in that my parents actually liked. <laughs> they said to me, Laura, this could be on Broadway. This could be on Broadway. Oh my God. This could be on Broadway. This Could Be On Broadway is a new musical workshop from Tin Cam Brothers, the creative team behind Spies of Forever. And me, the creator of Ragphone. Yeah, and Lauren, and also Lauren. The show explores the emotional turbulence and existential reckoning of high school students mounting their spring musical. We hope to bring oh a fresh and funny perspective to an experience shared by exactly 432 billion people all over the world. Now this Kickstarter is for a filmed musical oh, work. Clark. So what does that mean? Also, hey guys, I'm definitely alive. My flight just got delayed because the pilot got lost, which uh, I didn't think was a thing that could- Traditionally, stage <laughs> musicals undergo a multi-year development process before they reach their final form. And this show will be no different. Creatively, we want to take the time to shape the music, characters, and story to be the best they can be. And that might take a couple tries. So okay. we want you along for the ride. In the first iteration of the show, we're going to mount a filmed workshop that you can enjoy from the comfort of your home. We hope you'll join us right here and right now on the journey of getting This Could Be on Broadway to... Broadway. Yeah, I said it. Really? Um, delusional? Who cares? And like Adele Bazin <laughs> once said, shoot for the great white way. Even if you miss, you'll land off Broadway eventually. She said that. Did, Me, personally. Did this she... is a show for theater kids, past and present. For anyone whose parents ever told them to enunciate more. For anyone who didn't get the role they thought they deserved. For anyone who's ever found their voice on stage in an unexpected way. For anyone who's ever had a horny showman. For anyone who's ever been picked last in gym class, this is for you. Well, those are actually good Charlotte lyrics and not this. Oh. Thank you so much for letting us audition this project for you. We really hope that you'll accept the role of Kickstarter backer in This Could Be on Broadway. And we promise it won't conflict with Model UN. That's fine, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <gasps> cast party? Oh, no. Kickstarter video cast party. Oh, my God. The server's going to want to know all about the shoe. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Did you do a flash mob? I mean, we know all the choreo, and it would be a treat to all the patrons. God, I can't wait to hang out here for, like, three to four hours and order close to nothing. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you going to tip? Probably not. And I was just like, <laughs> Let me rip it. Right. Oh, yes, oh it's, it's too, too real. Oh my god, I'll have that too. I'll have that too. All right. Yeah. To having perfect pitch. <laughs> and a perfect pitch. This could be on Broadway. This could be on Broadway. Oh, you know, as a former server, that really night. hit home it's for me there. <laughs> Well, that is actually really cool. I don't think I, no, I'm not on Kickstarter like a whole lot. I actually think Headless was the first thing I ever backed. But the fact that they're doing this for a workshop is really cool. Like, that's awesome. You know, this isn't just going to be a, we're going to get money, we're going to get it done, and, you know, that'll be perfect. That'll be the end of it. They're going to actually keep building upon this, keep changing it, keep flushing it out until it i don't know if that was a joke when joey's like it could be on broadway uh but if so like that's awesome like that's really really kick-ass i uh i'm gonna have to look at exactly like how much they're raising uh since it is a workshop and not like a finished show like a uh, spies are forever or a black friday or the guy didn't like musicals i kind of wonder why they're doing it differently maybe Spies are forever didn't quite go as perfect as it could have. I mean, personally, I loved that show. But, you know, behind the scenes, maybe they were in a bit of a box creatively, and this might help alleviate that. Uh, but regardless, I definitely, I, I can't wait to pitch in for this. I mean, it's the Tin Can Brothers. Like, you know it's going to be good. And I feel like uh, but, uh, 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 Wayward Guide just came out like a year ago, too. So I love how they they really seem to have a 
pretty quick turnaround. It's like, okay, so we got that done, and now we're going to go right into this. And I am really excited. Again, guys, Kickstarter link down in the description and the pinned comment if you feel so inclined. I can't wait to look through kind of the tiers and be like, oh, which one am I going to do? Uh, but like, <clears throat> I personally, I don't know about you guys, but I was never like that kid in high school theater that really went for it all. I was like, oh God, I hope I got cast as the lead. I always knew that I wasn't that good of an actor. So I would actually audition for like, man three or a townsperson uh and i would have like five lines and it would be great because i was right within my acting ability plus i would be off book at the audition not a lot of other people could say that so actually i'm pretty sure that every role i ever auditioned for uh i actually got uh but again that is setting my uh my bar really really low uh but this this was great i loved all four of them as like the adults really sad missing high school Corey with all of his high school musical type shows or movies on his netflix queue uh and then just sitting there in that prop closet yeah reminiscing about the good old days and the uh the green light from the great gatsby the only show lauren's parents ever actually liked uh that was awesome the only thing that i kind of found funny was that there were only five signatures on the wall uh uh, at least back in my high school, uh, at least thinking of like the dressing rooms, there was not a single bare space on the wall that wasn't covered by somebody's signature or some, you know, generic motivational uh, phrase. So I thought that was kind of funny. But yeah, I can't wait to uh, to pick out uh, what tier I'm going to do because I know this is going to be good. And I really am happy to see them you know, really take their time with this. I don't know, has Star Kid or Tin Can or Shipwrecked done anything like this before where they kind of raise the money not for a finished project, but for a workshop? Uh, if that has happened, please feel free to let me know uh, down in the comments. Uh, but I'm also really happy that Lauren Lopez is in this. Uh, and I'm really excited too to see who else eventually gets cast. Uh, I'm sure they don't know that. I'm sure they probably have a loose idea of the show and some of the characters, but since this is so early, uh, I'm guessing all of that is still pretty much up in the air, but we know for sure that Lauren is in it. And uh, yeah, her and Joey are married now. And I, God, are they both in Headless? I think so. So this will be like the second thing we get to see of Joey and Lauren married in something together, uh, which has got to be fun. Uh, but a play about a play or a musical about a musical that's a little bit meta but Tin Can is just so silly and over the top not all the time just you know at bits it's like they 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 get you with like they they sting you with that it's so hard to find a stud and the next thing you know you're fucking losing it because that is so true and just so hilarious but yeah I I am really excited to see what happens with this, not only with this first workshop, but everything going forward, because I can't imagine that this is going to be anything less than great with the awesome, you know, writing team of the Tin Can Brothers with Corey, Brian, and Joey, and the incredible music of Clark. I believe he did the music for arguably my favorite music-wise Star Kid show in Firebringer. Uh, so you know that's going to be just incredible. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't wait. I am excited. And also the cast party at the end, so effing true. You're going to sit down for three or four hours, you know, order next to nothing, and you're not going to tip. Uh, not that that's everybody, you know, no stereotypes, but that is something that happens quite a bit. So if there's anybody out here watching this who is guilty of that, that's totally fine. It has happened in the past. Definitely try to make sure it doesn't happen again. And even if your bill isn't that expensive, you got to remember you've prevented them from getting maybe a higher tipping table for the last four or five hours or however long you've been there. So maybe dig a little deeper, give them a little extra. But I used to be in the service industry, so that really hit close. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you have pitched in to this project, what tier you picked. Uh, and I will see you all in a reaction very soon.